Welcome back everybody to part two of Trash to Treasure on a power back 5250 watt generator that I found on the side of the road. In our last video, we could not get it to run of its own power on the carburetor that we had. I did order a new carburetor kit uh, from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. We'll see what's in that and we'll see if we can get it to run. So we did get our carburetor kit in. In this kit, we can see that it has an air filter. Brand new air filter. We have a spark plug and we have a brand new carburetor. Nice and shiny. Exactly the same as the old carburetor. and a carburetor gasket. So we'll be taking the old carburetor off and replacing with the new carburetor. There's our old carburetor. It's kind of gunky, rusty, old. This is a model from 1999. So we'll see if we can get it to run. So when replacing the carburetor, the first thing we'll do is take this air filter housing off. It's just got two Phillips screws in it. There it is. Then we'll remove the carburetor. Actually, we'll let the fuel out of the carburetor. Because it does still have fuel in it. Remove the bowl. Now on the back side of this carburetor, there's two Phillips screws that are held in by nuts on the front. So we'll remove those, which we'll take our carburetor off. We will need these screws later when we reinstall the carburetor. So there's one screw. There's our second screw, our carburetor is free. So now we need to remove our throttle arm. So we'll just tilt the carburetor. Move it around until we can get the arm to come out of the hole. Like so. We do have two hoses on the back. We will remove those. And our carburetor is off. We'll just set that aside. Now our new carburetor will go on in the same way in reverse.
we do have a our old gasket we'll remove that we'll be replacing it with our new gasket that came with the kit so we'll insert our screws we'll place our new gasket on and we'll just push our screws back until they're barely sticking out and holding our gasket on now our new carburetor will put the throttle arm on make sure our gaskets in place insert our screws install our nut it doesn't have to be extremely tight it just needs to be tight enough for an air seal We'll reinstall our nut on the our second nut on the back side. Tighten that one up as well. Like I say, this does not have to be extremely tight, just tight enough to keep the air out. So now we have our throttle. We have our two screws, one on front, one on back. Our fuel line and our vacuum line. Now our plate also has a gasket on it. We're just gonna make sure that that's clean. We'll reinstall our plate the way we took it off. So for now, I don't have any hose clamps, so we are going to use zip ties to secure our hoses. Now that we have our hoses secure, temporarily, We'll install our air filter and housing. Turn our fuel on. 